Oh, hello, it's uh, Robert Colve here, back with a uh, another quick uh, multimeter review. Um, look, just uh, some of the comments I've had recently, uh, some been very nice stuff about uh, Hioki or Hioki, I'm not sure how you'd uh, pronounce it. Um, some of the nice material coming out of Japan. And uh, look, this one sort of took my, uh, piqued my interest. Um, certainly it's uh, quite a nice solid meter. It's... Um, it's getting up a bit in size, but it's uh, um, still look still reasonable weight. Um, I suppose some of the sort of general comments. The um, comes with quite a nice set of probes. The leads are you know some nice quite quite slick. It's just slightly firm silicon, but uh, they don't uh, tangle too nicely. Um, comes with the uh, probe ship uh, probe tip shields. You know, I've got the black one uh, off because I quite often use a a little aftermarket sort of uh, a black probe clip. Uh, I tend to like to clip clip my black pro earth probe on. Um, I suppose just a quick look at some of the various functions. I suppose at present we're all interested about how quick it will auto range. Um, I suppose a quite nice thing is that the meter tells you what it's it reads up to 600 meg, so it's quite uh, quite a high impedance meter. But if we just short that out, we're we're getting down there in sort of two seconds or so. Um, one of the other features to the meter is it, it's quite responsive. If I just sort of short out those leads, you can see just how quickly it does respond. So um, it's a you know nice responsive meter. Um, the LCD, just the way I've got the camera set up, we've got you know good viewing angle. Um, if you turn the backlight on, it really gets a lot better in real real life. It doesn't seem to make much difference there, but um, look, it's a pretty good viewing angle. But LCD gives you those wonderful uh, battery life. I suppose the other sort of comment people always like to see is just how quick the contact um, and uh, the Hioki gives you a nice um, visual indication as well and uh, that latches very nicely. Um, you know, through some settings you can change the uh, um, the impedance, the resistance at which it clips, so it's quite nice. Um, one of the features I uh, really like about this unit and it's probably too tricky to see there, but it, it it's got a nice little cheat sheet on the back of the stand, and uh, gee, that's a it's just a nice touch, you know. It just says, look, you know, we care about this product. We know that you're just not going to be able to remember all of these sort of uh, silly things, um, and oh, I suppose there's the usual stuff on the back of the meter. But um, look, it's a uh, quite a nice sort of unit look you're starting to get up in price a bit and accuracy but it's got a, a good solid feel and uh, look they're, they're not cheap but look this is certainly look a, a quality product um, comes a nice sturdy sort of rubberized case and uh, um, batteries and fuses are accessible behind here with just two nice uh, threaded screws into it there's the infrared uh, connection uh, to you know you know if you need to uh, have continuous readings um, but uh, look I'd, I'd tend to use probably a conventional multimeter for that so look this is just a, a quick review guys but um, look Hioki nice gear and uh, look I've checked it against a couple of uh, Teng Med references um, the other thing it, it does have and I'll I'll just show you this is that you know when you go into you know current mode if you look at the um, the modes here as you go into current mode you can see there's a shutter so you it's pretty hard to do that uh, accidental connection of um, connecting it up to the voltage so um, but look a quick review here guys so nice meter and uh, look thanks for watching okay bye bye